No, this is not in order. There's actually a much more concise, complete video. It goes into greater depth. It's called something like My Campaign uh, Criteria Tactic Goal Hydra uh, Criteria Tactic Goal and Theory on Hydra or something like that, which should be directly after this, and it's in color. But I just want to stress something. I say my campaign, and I use the word dictator and having veto power extremely loosely. I don't think I'm in charge of anybody. I don't think anything. In fact, I say three months, but hopefully it will dissolve faster than that. Um, I have no illusions of delusions of grandeur about this. I don't need nor want to be a leader. The only reason I'm using those words is for right now, I just want to keep it on track. I don't want it to burst out into a thousand different things and then achieve nothing. Um, but I noticed that things always start off very, very small. That's how they begin. Um, that's why I use mythical creatures like the beast of the Old Testament, which the Greek word for that is therion. I think it just means beast, but from all the medieval weird crap and Victorian era stuff, it, in English it kind of leans towards a beast with multiple heads. The same goal with different people doing different per personas coming from the same thing. The Hydra cut one head off to grow back. That's it. That's it. Nothing more than that. Why do I think it's so important just to have one goal, to just do one thing? Um, because I've seen things fall apart multiple, multiple, multiple times. I'm not trying to build a cult. I'm not trying to get people to follow me. The only reason why I say dictator, I won't even say that I'm in charge, I'll just say dictator of the group, because everybody in there is equal, they all have equal say. I want to hear more, I want to hear them talk more than I want to talk. Um, because nobody else set it up. Who else set it up? Who else set up the meetings? Who else invited everybody to the meetings? Who else came up with the idea? Who else made the videos? Who else uh, put out the criteria? Who else put out the goals and tactics? Who else made the video uh, theory on and Hydra? And how we would approach this? How you don't attack? How you just you just you're nice to somebody and then let other people ask questions? I've dealt with cults for too long. I know how they operate. I know the buzzwords that they have. I mean, if you go into a Jehovah's, if you go into a Kingdom Hall, and you pick any part of the Bible and say, "Can you please explain this to me?" They're all over you. They love to hear stuff like that, because most people are, you know, spraying them off with hoses and stuff like that. Um, if you if you go into any Scientology center. You say, look, I was given Dianetics. I really don't understand this. Would you be able to explain this to me? They will go out of their way to do that. This is how the cults work. Um, especially the most bombastic, self-righteous, arrogant people who all want to be their little Jim Joneses. If you say, uh, well, can you help me understand? I'm not quite sure. Even if they're, let's say they're, and this goes for anybody who who's, uh, thinks that this is even partially a good idea. Even if they're mean and rude to you, because usually they will be. They'll call you every name in the book, and they think, well, that's just getting your attention, even though it's pushing you away. This is how these fundies actually think. They think, oh, no, that's how we get their attention. We intrigue them by doing, no, they actually just push people away. Now the people that they're going to attract are us, are the seven-headed hydra, and the beast coming out with multiple heads. That's what they're going to encounter. 
and they're going to encounter the same thing all the time, which is, where do you find that? So you believe that, which, which there's some very, there's some answers that they will inevitably come to. Do you believe the Bible is the word of God and that it should be obeyed and it's a correct guide for mankind? Yes. Now, you wouldn't get that answer from a Roman Catholic. You probably wouldn't get that answer from an Eastern Orthodox. Why? Because they would say, well, but the heretics use the Bible in the same way and manipulate it to have you believe whatever you want. Satan actually used scripture at one point. Um, the Bible is only fit to follow when it's being taught by those who are the true followers of Christ. I mean, the historical church has wit witnessed so many factions due to some loser um, interpreting the Bible his own way and saying, but it's still in the Bible, it's still in the Bible. I mean, the, the agreement at night, the, the, the conclusion at Nicaea wasn't so much out of the Bible as it was, hey, look, all, all the Christians that lived before us worshipped Christ as God. <laughs> End of story. Uh, who do you think the martyrs were worshipping? They worshipped Christ. It wasn't some big, expansive intellectual argument. You could probably get to a deadlock argument between Arianism and, and uh, uh, the, the Athanasian view. But, oh, the, uh, the fundies that have no mooring in history, that their history goes back not even a hundred years. Oh, they think they have all the answers. They're convinced that Roman Catholics have never read their Bible. They're convinced that the Eastern Orthodox know nothing about the Bible. Um, they're convinced that uh, Lutherans, Anglicans, are all just, they don't know their Bible. And... These are people who believe that they're the only people on earth that have read the Bible or know anything, as if it's not one of the major works of Western civilization, if it's not the, ma the major work. I don't care if people think it's theology or whatever. Or not theology, a theodicy or myth. In the nicest possible way, can you please explain to me Oh, that, okay, 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 I understand, I understand. Um, but it, and actually, I'll be the first one. As soon as somebody comes across one of these people, get me first. I want to show you how, show you how I, I've been dealing with these people for a long, for a long, long time. Because it was about a four-year period, way, way back, many moons ago, <laughs> where it would be Christadelphians, um, Jehovah's Witness, Seventh-day Adventists, Mormons, and they love, they love to hear, can you please explain this to me? I don't quite understand this. Could you help me clear this up? Um, I haven't found anybody who's given me a good answer on this. Could you help me find out what this means? Th that's what they live for. And the fundies are basically tiny cults. These are their... These, these are people who um, believe that they're single-handedly saving the world. So I'll just demonstrate how it's done. Now, in a very short time, I will not be needed. My campaign will mean something extremely personal. Anyone who joins the forum will be able to say, my campaign, because it's very myopic, it's only headed towards a certain group of people. We don't care about atheists, we don't care about homosexuals, we don't care about Catholics, we don't care about Lutherans, we, and none of that matters. Because it's pretty much agreed upon that the most offensive and irritating and ridiculous thing is people spreading hatred and bigotry and homophobia in the name of Christ, who even non-believers say, yeah, you know, he was a, I mean, he probably didn't have any miracles, he, was, he probably wasn't born of a virgin, he probably just died on the cross and never resurrected, but he was kind of a nice guy, I mean, he never lifted a sword in his life, he didn't call for anybody's execution, uh, he's kind of, he was just kind of like a hippie dude. Now, obviously, I don't agree with that assessment, I don't think Christ was some type of hippie dude, 
but I mean, he he was no Muhammad or Moses or Abraham who was leading, who were warlords leading, um, leading men into battle. He was going around saying stuff like, what should it profit a man to gain the world but lose his soul? Um, it is better to give than to receive. Um, you know, stuff like that. Very easy, nice, uh, Hallmark card greeting type of things. There's some kind of dark stuff in there, but there's no, I mean, he's not, I mean, he saved a woman from adultery. I, I don't care if it's added in. I'm only going by what's in the New Testament, because that's what these people are. I'm going to work with what they believe. So I'm not going to mention the Virgin Mary or the saints or the councils. There's no need. Remember, we're fighting on their ground. We're not going to try to bring them to orthodoxy. Because the main goal is not to bring them to orthodoxy, but to get them to stop spreading hatred in the name of Christ. My goal is to, to have them take it down a notch so that we don't have to live in that much of an insane world. And I think this is a good thing. And I think it's very doable. I think it's extremely doable. It's extremely easy. Let's just pick one thing. I already picked it. Who wants to help me? I've got the criteria of which it's based on. I've got the tactics and goals. And I've got the uh, regeneration, which is called the Therian or the Hydra, where it's just more and more people. If this possibly lasts more than a year, if it does, uh, people won't know where it started. They will forget me. They won't. They will be like, I don't know, who's, whoever started it, I don't know. Somebody else will take credit for it. Hell, probably uh, Coughlin or Thunderfoot or I don't know, someone else. What's someone else? I only care about the outcome. The only reason why I'm calling myself the dictator and having veto power now is because people suggesting other things. No, 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 no. None of the other crap. Let's just do this first. After we make sure that, you know, at least 30% of the fundamentalist proselytizers on YouTube think twice before putting something hateful or homophobic or evil or abusive down, if it, if it just does that to a third of them, if they think twice before they put something down, I'm happy don't need any credit. So that's the thing. What I'm going to upload, I actually, uh, or what I'm going to publish, I actually recorded before this, but I wanted to make it clear. I'm not saying dictator or veto power as a good thing. I'm not ruling over anybody. This is completely voluntary. The only thing I use those terms for is just to keep it, keep the goal in sight and not be sidetracked. That's just what I want to have happen. And I'll, I'll do three of these a day if need be. I'll find the time because it's not going to take that long. It's a real easy message to get through. The last forum was three hours because we kept having people joining. Um, there's people in Australia that weren't able to attend. So let's, why not? And if anybody wants to not not be part of it if they, they listen in and they say, oh, it's not for me. Okay. It's not a mafia. If it falls apart in two weeks, then it falls apart in two weeks. You know what I get to say? Yeah, at least I tried to do something. That's it. But I think it can work, and I think it's an idea that most of the people especially anti-theists and Christians. The one the one thing that we will agree on, along with uh, gay people and transgender people, is the spewing of hate in the name of Christ. Why? Because they get some certain immunity out of it, and I don't think they should have any immunity out of it. I don't think religion should offer anyone immunity. I think you should be able to, you should have to pay the consequences for what you say kind of like schoolyard rules. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, boom, and then you get a punch in the teeth. Real tough guy now. Now, I'm not advocating any type of violence, but if people want to spread hatred and bigotry, 
if you have a few people being like, well, that shows that nothing that you said is in the character of an apostle of Christ or a disciple of Christ. Uh, embarrass these people with their own God, with their own text. Why not? They've had free reign for too long, for way too long. And it's gotten very popular for people to act like jackasses, but because they do it and act like jackasses and bigots and uh, hate mongers, but because they do it in the name of religion, as long as they say Jesus, they get away with it. Enough is enough. No. Which, for me as an Orthodox Christian, angers me beyond no end because for me, Christ is a nice, good guy who is the embodiment of good. And it's actually blasphemous to spread evil and bigotry and and hate and fear in the name of Christ. I dislike them more than the anti-theists. I don't know if I dislike them more than the gays. Not that I dislike gays. Gay people, I don't care about. They're fine. They're human beings. But these people seem to be... They're like the Fred Phelps. They're like the Westboro Baptist Church. They are there to offend. And since they call it a religion, somehow they get some type of pass. And uh, I don't want to make this a theist slash theist v atheist issue, because it shouldn't, because it should be every single theist, every single agnostic, every single atheist, every straight person, every gay person, every whatever the hell you are, because these people hate you no matter what, and they hate you in the name of their God. <laughs> Unless you're identical to them, you're the enemy, you're a tool of Satan. And I think there's more of us than there are of them. They might be more zealous. But I think I can be very sincere in my cause and believe that uh, hatred and bigotry and malice should be stamped out. And the most beautiful way to do that is with love, because how are they going to fight? How, how are they going to resist anything? They're, they're, they're bound by their New Testament. They have to only work within the text, and they've got nothing in the text to support them. The criteria, the goals, tactics, hydra, and theory. On. Watch this next video that I'm putting up. So when I say dictator or veto power, help me make that a very short-lived. Let no one else take over after me, and let it just be organic. And let these people think twice before they say something like, uh, fags will burn in hell forever. Or atheists are just scared of a god. No, they're not. Isn't death scarier for an atheist? Coming from somebody who doesn't care about an afterlife? <laughs> like me? So, let's give them a run for their money, huh? Because if you're gay, if you're Catholic, if you're Orthodox, if you're if you have any type of liturgical church, Lutheran, Anglican, these people are against you and claim that you're going to hell and put you equal to a rapist. No joke. Just talk to them. And yet they will fight tooth and nail to defend televangelists like Creflo Dollar and Kenneth Copeland. They will defend evil while acting good while attacking the passerby. And they can say any, anything to anybody on here. It's time to start reining these people in. Who wants to join me? I was surprised at the first turnout. Let's jack that up some more.
remember, we have tunnel vision on this. We're not spreading out to any other thing. Let's do this first, and then we'll do something later. Get too many people that I get forgotten, but let, let the goal motivate. 